assalamu alaikum dear learners today we will check how to export figma design to android studio for free in my previous video i have used export kit to export my figma design to android studio but export kit have its limitation it only allow me to export uh, one screen design if i uh, if i uh, i have more than one screens uh, it will show an error and i have to buy its subscription plan the question is how we can do it for free let's check it out First, I will show you how if we use export kit here, it will not allow me to export this design. Uh, select uh, Android user interface and uh, from there select Android Studio and click on export. Click on find more plugins from more plugins click on uh, select device if you write uh, device in search box click on run from here uh, if you want to if you want uh, if you want templates uh, you can click on it uh, but if you want to export your design you can click to design to code uh, click on android click on all things Okay, if you want to select a frame, it's bent on you. If, uh, but I want to export both screens, so I click on all frames, and from there, copy your project link and paste it there. Okay, make sure you have uh, uh, you have uh, copied the correct link. Click on create app. It will take some time. So create an app. When your app is created, uh, it will show you this dialog box. Click on view and download app code in device. It will take you to the another screen. Uh, click on let's start. Uh, it will, uh, you have to select uh, supply. If you have any splash screen, click on it and click on next step. Uh, I will just randomly select them and click on submit. Now click on build app. Uh, I want uh, actually I only want user interface. It depends on you. If you want to XML plus activity, you click on it. But I want on uh, but in that case I only want a user interface code. So I click on it. It will take some time to process it. You can see our screen design is converted to code. Uh, now the question is how we can use it in our Android Studio. You can also download the whole. Uh, uh, you can also download the whole project from here. You, if you want only one screen code, you can click on it, download activity code, or you can simply copy it and paste in your Android project. But I will tell you how we can do this by another method. Go to device and click on uh, go to dashboard with that token and click on Android Studio IntelliJ plugin. Download this plugin. If uh, you can also download it and copy in your project, but if you want to sync uh, device with your Android Studio, this is this is how you can sync your device with Android Studio. Let's check it out. Click on get. From get click on download to Android Studio. New. First you have to if you are a new uh, because you uh, you don't uh, have device plugin you have downloaded it but you have to add it to your Android Studio project. Click on CTRL Alt plus S. Okay, go to me plugins and from plugins uh, go to uh, install plugin from disk. From download select your plugin. Uh, okay. Click on the start ID. We will wait some time until it is restarted. ID is restarted and will did it will take some time to load the project. Okay. 
go to file from file go to new and on new click on uh, click on import from device now you have to uh, paste your to application token here and click on clone it will take some time to download the files uh, you have to click on trust projects and we can open it in new window okay? uh, you can also uh, click on this window but i will click on new window now our project is imported uh, imported successfully and it will take some time to load you can see our project is built it successfully click on go to java from the click on this layout as we have not selected uh, the second option there is no activity you can create your own activity from here okay awesome uh, and you can see now our design exported successfully now you can run it it will not show any kind of error <coughs> it will take some time to load the design uh, you can feel you can see our uh, design is exported successfully Okay. Um, when you uh, import your uh, sync your project with Android Studio, you can face two kind of error. You make sure you can add. Uh, first, you uh, you can make sure first go to settings. From settings, uh, click on appearance. From appearance, oh sorry, from appearance and behavior, click on system settings. From settings, uh, system settings, click on HTTP proxy and click on auto detect proxy settings. Okay. And after that, you must add. Uh, uh, you must add uh, uh, Maven Central here. If it show uh, any error during uh, uh, beta building, okay. If it not show any error, you can just run it from there. But it show error during uh, SDK. Uh, it will show error like uh, if uh, unable to load SDK tools, you have to add Maven Central here. Okay, you have to keep these two things in mind. Now you can successfully run your project. Thank you and stay tuned with me.